Welcome back to Wire In There. Today I want to get the oil pan off of this. The uh, timing chain cover. The, the pulley's got to come off first. Um, the only thing I've done since the last video is I rotated the engine. Before I did that though, I put some. I had some painter's plastic laying around. And I put it all underneath it because I knew it was going to be dripping some. This is actually the second piece I put down. When I turned that motor, it was Niagara Falls. So be prepared for that. Um, the head's off from the last video. Uh, under there, you can see the piston holes. So um, I just got this on there half hazardly because um, I had to fumble with it. I was actually making another video already. I took all the bolts out around the oil pan. That's all I'd done. Um, and then I couldn't get the oil pan off. It was on there really good from the last time I put it on when I did the rear main seal. So take all your bolts out. Let me show you what I did with the cardboard. It says front of the Jeep there, the back of the Jeep, passenger side, driver side. But some of these bolts are different. And the one, the fifth one back down on the driver side holds your bracket for the O2 sensor and it's a nut on top of a stud I'll show you here and I thought the whole stud was coming out when I was undoing this nut well it fell off and it went bouncing around and I had to go hunt that down so my first step of the video was a disaster between that and trying to peel the oil pan off but it's broken free now I haven't lifted it up yet but it was easier to lift it from the rear and kind of pick up and keep bouncing like bouncing the thing up because up here when you put this back together you got to put a ton of silicone underneath the here it's a wide gap I, I, I'm not even kidding it's probably that wide you got to fill that gap uh, so I'm gonna start and start yanking this oil cover off oh there's a half moon shaped gasket on the back of your oil pan here so if it's caked up I forgot that it was there I couldn't even see it till it fell off because it's so Kick the mud in the back of this thing. So don't lose that piece. You're going to need that later on. Oh, this thing is still stuck pretty good. Oh. Good lord. Alright, well, I don't see any chunks of anything. I don't think I broke anything. What I think happened is the piston, uh, piston connecting rod bearings is what I'm thinking. I'm looking down in the cylinders now and see if I see anything right off the bat broken. From what I can see, the piston skirts are all there oh we do got a busted piston and there's a lot of it broken off oh wow yeah oh there's all the pieces of it well, i found the knock i'm surprised it wasn't knocking as louder than it was because this is pretty pretty bad <laughs> let's see let me uh i got a light here it's like a shine it down in there all right but look there next to the cam that's all the broken pieces of the piston. I had no idea it was this bad. It's this one here. So I was right on my diagnosis which one it was. Um, it's, yeah, that rod's in the way on that side. I'm going to go around the other side and see if I can get a better shot for you. But the whole side of the skirt is just gone. Um, let's see, I can't get a good angle in there to show you from here but you can see the broken pieces of it where, where it broke off at see it down in there yeah yeah but the piston wall looks untouched but that is touching the side of that piston wall I could see it all right so we found the source of the knock <laughs> and it was a lot worse than I thought it was I mean, it doesn't change what we're doing. We're going to redo, be, rebuild the whole thing anyhow. But that just is kind of shocking. That it only made that little bit of noise. I'm I am really, really surprised. 
So go ahead and rip off all your old gasket stuff. Uh, I don't have a garbage can by me. Um, I'll show you what I'm doing with that in a minute. So I want to get this pulley off, the harmonic balancer. And I had this kit already because I've taken this off a few times. This is a really good one here. I got it at Eastwood. It was like 20 bucks. And it comes with all these different uh, bolt patterns, sizes, and a couple of the different tips for a smaller center. Uh, this is the inverted one. Anyhow, I know which one it needs for this. So what I did was you find you make sure you find the right thread that goes into that pulley. You don't want to strip that out. Um, so I just went all the way. I tightened these up all the way till I touched the back, the back cover here. And then I backed it off like a one full turn on each one. That way I knew all of them were sticking out exactly the same length. And then just pull this back. See where my finger is here? There's, this one has a, a point on it. See it there? Now it's a good shot. And get it in the center of that hole where your bolt came out. And just hand tighten it down until that comes back and hits the head of the bolts. This part here. Snug it up. I'm going to set this down because I need a, two hands for this. But that should be pretty good there. Get my big honking crescent wrench. Oh, the bolts on the back, what I had hanging there. Just to show you real quick, because the crank is going to spin on me. All I did was I had some bolts laying around. And I put it through the back of the stand and where the uh, flywheel bolts up, I put two bolts in there. It's going to turn a little bit until I get to that point, but hopefully that holds it for me. So I was already thinking ahead and got bolts out for it. So we'll see if this will work or not. It's turned it on me. I think it's good now. Whoops. Keep your fingers out of there. It's coming. I can see it moving. It takes some effort, though. <sighs> um, Auto Parts Store will have that same kit, probably. You could probably... Um, you know, run it for free. That's a weird way to say rent, rent, rent it for free. Well, you guys know what I mean. Everybody knows auto parts stores, policies, things now. You know, you, uh, you give them your credit card and then they charge it and they return your money back when you bring the part back. Boy, it's coming. It's... It's almost there. <sighs> Pilot bearing is easier getting out than this. I don't think bread's going to work on this one because... I didn't think it would be that deep. Oh, good Lord. Come on. I'm running out of thread on my tool here. I hope it comes out quick. That's getting easier. Okay, that's a good sign. Oh, thank goodness. I had about two turns left and I was out of thread. And go and unbolt all that stuff. Put it back in the case. You got it for next time. I've been using this kit for about three years. <laughs> that's on a keyway, <clears throat> so you know. 
Um, and then I'm going to start pulling out these uh, timing cover bolts. I'll turn this a little bit. Okay. There's a, I would draw a cardboard box for this one for sure. Because there's a lot of bolts in here. And there's different sizes and there's a couple holes that don't get any on this particular cover anyway. I bought this cover a few years back because I did the timing chain on it. And um, it was the, the right cover, but this part was actually sticking out about a three quarters of an inch more. And my tensioner pulley would uh, smack on it where it would move. So I had to grind it down. But there's no bolt that goes in that hole, which, you know, it's weird. So, anyhow, I'll figure out what size I need. Oh, I had all my sockets laying out, too, and I started moving things around. So, these the smaller ones are 3 8 Larger ones, fifteen. No, that's not it. Oh, five eighths. So I got my little cardboard box here with a very crude drawing on it. Some of these you can't get to until you get that pulley off. At least three of them. That's not it. It was three eighths for the small ones. Three eighths. <clears throat> so. oh, I'm looking at it a different way now. Yeah. I'm looking for um, a tool I had here a second ago. Oh, you know when you just have it in your hand. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. I need to cut a couple more holes in my cupboard box. Because I didn't realize there were more bolts than what they were what I thought for. So
somewhere. So I'll go on in larger bolts, five eighths. There's only two. Uh, the oil pan shares the bolts and the gasket with the uh, timing cover. Uh, let's see. Oh, whoa, hold on to it. <laughs> Alright, that's off. Everything looks pretty darn good inside, if you can see that. Looks pretty clean. The chain guard or guide was getting slapped a little bit, if you could see it there. But not much at all. There ain't no wear on it. I did this timing chain about a year and a half ago. So I'm curious how much slack. Wow. More than I thought it would. When I put it on a year and a half ago, it was pretty taunt. So I'm surprised that is uh, as loose as it is. All right, I'm gonna zip off these motor mounts real quick. 15 millimeter, the ones that go into the block. And I need an extension. One on this side too. These are 15 millimeter if I didn't mention that already. Okay, well I guess I don't even have to turn it like I was talking about yesterday. I was going to put the bolt in and look at it real quick, but I know what it is. Well, we all know what it is now. That broken piston. I cannot believe it was that bad. And only making a little bit of noise that it was making. Alright, I'm thinking about what I'm doing next, I guess. Since I'm right here, I should pull the oil pump out. Two bolts, looks to be about a half inch, not sure yet. Yes, half inch. This thing is dying on me. I wonder if it has enough power in it to break it, break it free. It does. This one also holds your uh, oil pickup on. So, well, it's going to be obvious when you put it back together, but the long one goes, holds your oil pickup on. I thought there was only two bolts. That's all I see. Oh, yeah, it's only two. <laughs> and much more oil that comes out. It's a good, good thing to keep the plastic under there. I'm just going to set this down on the plastic for now and let it keep dripping like it is. My screen on my oil pickup looks pretty good. It's not, there's no debris in it. Alright, 
So I'm gonna set these here for a minute and I'll organize stuff once I'm off camera. Um, debating what to do next. Let's see. Well, gotta get that oh. get that dipstick out. Oh. I'm trying to turn it. I left the bolts in from uh, pulling the harmonic balancer off. No, it doesn't want to come out. Cheated. Darn it. Now I need to nut that guy to get that bolt out of there. Come on now. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Very filthy job. Inside the block is really carboned up. I mean, pretty thick. So we're gonna have it go to the machine shop for cleaning. This thing is not easy to rotate. It's a great stand for stability, but rotating it, it's tough. that way for a second. There's a bolt on the side which also holds some grounds on and it this holds some grounds grounds on underneath the hood. But also hold your dipstick in there. And this thing is pressed in there Gotta like wiggle it out, work it out without breaking it. If you could twist it and pull up at the same time, oh, it'll come right out like that. That's how you remove your uh, oil dipstick on the 4 0. I wanna put that nut back in there, I'll organize that later. So I hope I'm getting all this good in there. Okay. Let's lay that down right on top of the head. Now I got myself in a pickle where it's stuck. Let's see. Uh, I'll zoom back out and you can see how much I'm struggling with this thing. Mm, that's about it, I think. All right. So I don't want to start on this girdle and these pistons yet because I got to make up some boxes and punch holes in it. And... But we can take off the timing chain. Whoa! Now it wants to spin good. Oh. All right, it's being a pain. I'm just tired too. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. All right. Here's that. We'll zoom in a little bit. Now, mine don't have like the old ones. Uh, what would it be on? Would it be on the cam? Yeah, I think on the cam there's a thrust pin on like the YJs, the older 4Os. These don't have that. Just bolted on. 
I'm not sure the size, but it ain't that one. Sixteen millimeter. Uh, if I mentioned, if you, I haven't mentioned in a while, this is an 03 engine. So pop that out of there. Don't get it mixed up with the other one. Because they're very similar looking. But they got different pitch threads on them. So this will just pull off. Gotta pull them both off together. Well, this one seems to be jammed on there pretty good. There's a keyway on it, and I should. This one's coming off nice and easy. Might have to get a screwdriver behind this one. Pry it back a little bit. Came a little bit. when I put it on the last time. It's kind of pulled right off last time. Alright, I might have to end the video here. So I can just keep working on getting this sprocket off of there. I'm not reusing this set. Because the engine repo kit will come with a new one. It's moving. It's just it's going to take a while. And I don't know if you want to hang around that long. So I was going to end the video here. But it is moving. I just got to work my way all the way around it and keep going. But it is coming off. Just slowly. So this could take a while. I'd say I'm about a quarter of the way there. was not that hard getting it on there. Oh, come on. It's coming. It's moving. I'm just kind of rocking it back and forth like this and pulling. And it came free. The keyway is made into the sprocket on this side. So don't worry about losing it. There will not be one there. This one has two keyways and I think they come out of there. I'm not 100% on that. Maybe they don't. Nothing show me that they come out of there, but okay. So anyway, your timing sets off and I am going to call it quits there. And we'll pick up on the next video. That's why you're in there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Keep watching. It's going to be an awesome build. And we found out today what our knocking noise came from. And I can't believe it was not way crazy loud like, you know,
those scary engines when you hear them run sometimes that you know they're about to blow up any second. This just had a slight knock. It wasn't bad. So keep watching for the finished rebuild. It's going to be beautiful. It's while you're in there. Like and subscribe. Thanks.